Quake 2 RTX Batch 1.3 released, adds support for video cutscenes and photo mode. NVIDIA has released a brand new update for Quake 2 RTX. Patch 1.3 adds a new photo mode so you can share some impressive ray tracing screenshots. Moreover, it adds support for the game's video cutscenes. Furthermore, this patch adds support for selecting which display should be used for the full screen mode, as well as support for loading map specific files with sky clusters, which should be useful for custom maps. It also adds display of the selected inventory item name in the status bar. Naturally, this patch also comes with some fixes. For instance, it fixes a crash that happened at map load time when a custom map has no analytic lights. It also makes the volume controls logarithmic instead of linear. As always, Steam will download this patch the next time you launch its client. Below you can also find its complete change log. Quake 2 RTX Batch 1.3 Release Notes New Features Added Photo Mode Added free camera controls for photo mode when the game is paused. See the README for more information. Added support for depth of field in photo mode. Added support for campaign video cutscenes. Added support for selecting which display should be used for the full screen mode. Added support for loading map specific files with sky clusters, which should be useful for custom maps. Added display of the selected inventory item name in the status bar. Fixed issues. Fixed a crash that happened at map load time when a custom map has no analytic lights. Reduce the noise in the big gun map next to the barred windows. Reduce the noise from yellow lamps next to the entrance of the jail for map at night. Miscellaneous improvements. Improve the menu settings to show units for various ease lighters, such as a degrees or percentage. Made the volume controls logarithmic instead of linear.